Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about are the three major half marathons this fall. With the with the summer hopefully waning and the heat dying down, we're going to get into the fall where the weather's going to change and the running's going to feel magnificent, and we've got three really good uh, half marathons in the fall season in Atlanta. Uh, the first one is the Michelob Ultra Half Marathon on Sunday, October 4th. And Gregory, do you know that they've changed the course uh, for a and for the third year in a row, they've got, well, the second year in a row, I guess, they've got a new course. Were you aware of that? Absolutely. I did not know. Okay. I didn't think you knew. I just wanted to put him on the spot. But they do have a new course. Uh, the new course is going to be up, you know, somewhere in the general area of the intersection of uh, I-75 and 285. And what's cool about it is they are going to incorporate some of the new property that the new Brave Stadium is going to be, uh, which, uh, which is somewhat controversial, obviously. But... It will incorporate some of the areas that the, the new stadium and the new, that new area. Uh, the course is it's going to have its share of rolling hills, just like anything in Atlanta. And it is going to wind around. Um, it, 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 just looking at the map, it, it does look a little bit um, uh, elaborate. I mean, obviously, it's going to be well marked, so there's not going to be anybody getting lost. Uh, the folks at Lifetime Fitness put on a great event every year, so I'm sure it's going to be awesome. Um, the next half marathon to talk about would be the Atlanta half marathon on Thanksgiving Day, which this year is Thursday, November 26th. And Gregory, do you have anything to any specific knowledge about the, the Thanksgiving half? <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> well, its course is again going to be an in town course. They changed the course four, five, six years ago from uh, the, the old course, which started way back by past or near Brookhaven going down to the stadium. Uh, and now I believe it still starts at the stadium, but it starts and finishes at the stadium. Uh, it's a pretty challenging course. Um, again, just like anything in Atlanta, uh, up and down a lot of the hills. Uh, I've not seen the new course. Um, I, I don't know if they're going to tweak it from last year. The, the map isn't, isn't out on the Atlanta Track Club's website. Uh, but you can bet, again, it's going to be an extremely well-run uh, event uh, on Thanksgiving Day. Um, and, and rest assured, you're going to be able to earn your turkey, as, as they like to say. Greg, anything else to say about that? <laughs> you have adequately described the first two. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Uh, and lastly, and arguably the best half marathon of the group, is the Jeff Galloway 13.1. And that is Sunday, December 13th. Uh, this is the second annual. Uh, and that's obviously the Fittipides owner, uh, Jeff Galloway, puts that race on. And Gregory, do you have anything to say about that race? I could say so much about that race that I'm I'm just gonna let you. Are you, you biased? Finish. Are you biased for that race? Uh, yeah. Only a little bit. Okay, I am too. <laughs> um, but but that race, uh, it, it for the most part, the course is gonna stay the same from last year, which is a net drop, and it sounds like this is a big sales pitch, which it is. Uh, but the course will start up by the Federal Reserve. It will incorporate parts of the um, the Freedom Path or Freedom Parkway. Uh, will also include the false flat slash downhill section of the belt line, but it too has its fair share of hills. Um, uh, it's a small sample size, but I do I did get some reports from people last year that they improved a couple of minutes over their time of either of the other two halves in Atlanta. So you know, with with the caveat being it is an Atlanta course, uh, which can be challenging and not flat. Uh, it, it's arguably the fairest of the three. And again, very well run uh, event. People had a great time. We're expecting probably double the numbers of last year. Uh, and, and there's also the Barb 5K the day before, which is uh, Saturday, December 12th. It'll start and finish in Piedmont Park, and the festivities will be here at Fittipides. Also, it was an extremely well run, well received event last year, and we're expecting uh, probably twice the numbers this year. Uh, so hopefully, you will. Um, participate in one or all of those half marathons. I mean, if, if you're the type of runner that can do all three, even better. Uh, if not, do the Jeff Galloway 13.1 because that's the one that we the, that we believe in the most. And there is a fun uh, expo. Yeah, uh, there's for, an excellent expo. Exactly. Uh, yeah. and, and I believe that's going to be downtown. Uh, but definitely go on the uh, their website and check out where the expo as well as the course is. So that'll do it for the preview of the half marathons in Atlanta. Mm -hmm.